A very good morning, good evening, and uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited about today. It's another day. It's another opportunity for us to keep doing what we're doing on this podcast, which is focusing on purpose, productivity, and resilience, a daily show on those particular subjects, a teaching podcast, a virtual incubator for purpose, a virtual incubator for resilience, and a virtual incubator for productivity. Those three things I do believe are critical to to any person, any human being who wants to be successful and who wants to live a life of significance. At the end of the day, that's what humanity is all about. Humanity is about purpose. It is about productivity. It's about resilience, period. You cannot convince me otherwise. You remove these three from the life of humanity, that's it. It's gone. It's destroyed. It doesn't exist anymore. All right. So we are in the middle of a series where we're talking about how we can stem self-deficiency out of our lives. We've been looking at very many angles, but the angle that we've been focusing on over the past several episodes has been the angle of being a finisher. We've talked quite a bit about being a finisher and uh, how finishing helps and so on. So right now, I'm just going to wind up the mechanics behind finishing. How does it help you to overcome feelings of self-deficiency. We wind that up today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. start with a recap here ladies and gentlemen if you are going to be a finisher there are some inner workings that are taking place in your life the first thing that you you, you're going to notice is that finishing brings feelings of accomplishment these feelings of accomplishment will stem away the feelings of self-deficiency you cannot feel they're not they're mutually exclusive you cannot have self-deficiency living where there's accomplishment have you ever seen you Eugene Bolt after winning, you know, uh, the Olympics in record time, feeling self-deficient. Have you ever seen a footballer who has just scored a goal, feeling self-deficient? And that's why when they see Arsenal scoring, they, I don't know why they they don't want Arsenal to celebrate. They want Arsenal to continue feeling deficient, because they have had decades upon decades where they have been self-deficient. Now they're progressing. You cannot have self-deficiency alongside accomplishment. That's what I'm discussing. So when you finish, it helps you to be accomplished. And when you are accomplished, self-deficiency is shown the door. Okay, maybe even though temporarily. Secondly, finishing helps you to create momentum. When you finish something, it is not always an end. It's an opportunity or an inspiration to continue. You do not want to stop because in doing the accomplishment, it's like a cycle. You just keep accomplishing, keep accomplishing, keep accomplishing. Of course, you're resting, you're recharging and doing all that stuff. But there is momentum. You're always in motion. And again, there is no way you're going to continue feeling deficient when you are in motion, when you're doing stuff. Thirdly, we talked about this uh, uh, yesterday, finishing always attracts new ideas, helps you to be excited when 
you cannot wait to have this new idea that has come up, this new inspiration that has come up from what you were doing recently or previously, and you want to continue. So this new idea is being attracted into your life as you continue executing and as you continue finishing them. You cannot feel deficient. But the opposite is true. When you are not finishing things and new ideas come to you, you do not want even to start thinking about these new ideas because you feel you might not finish like you've not finished the other ones. And still, at the moment, you're bogged down with unfinished business. You're feeling bad about unfinished business. But a finisher doesn't feel this way. A finisher is excited when new ideas come because they know I'm going to organize myself. I'm going to pack this. I'm going to pack that. But I'm going to start dealing with this. And I'm going to finish this in a jiffy. And then I'm going to move to that one. They are excited. And they cannot be this organized and this excited and continue to feel self-deficient. Finally, if you are a finisher, let's just talk about this. You know what happens. People are always attracted and respect finishers always attracted to and they give respect to finishers and let me tell you this there is absolutely no way a group of people a bunch of people those who matter and those who don't matter those in your acquaintance or those in in your inner circles those in your family those who are uh, your friends and those ones at your workplace there is no way human beings are going to respect you And you continue feeling unaccomplished. You continue feeling insufficient. You continue feeling unwelcome. Finishing things helps you to get attracted to other people and they get to give you respect. You look better to other people because you're a finisher. Of course, they look at you and they see you're an accomplished person or at least you are a person who is it's kind of like you are appearing to them like you are a man or a woman on a mission yeah i know we've come back <clears throat> we cannot bank from if, if we come back to this aspect of just looking at the finishing crossing the finishing line we cannot bank on other people to empower us we empower ourselves but this empowering by other people is at the end of what we have already done when you are a finisher you automatically earn the respect of other people it comes at the end of course respect is given a benefit of doubt uh, level but it cannot continue to be given if you're not a finisher everyone deserves to be respected you know initially being given a benefit of doubt But then the respect that you earn after finishing is what counts. When you're a finisher, you automatically earn the respect of other people. Their respect becomes a byproduct. A byproduct of your action and not the main agenda. It's not the main idea. Not the main thing that you're looking for. You're not looking to be respected by finishing things. It's just one of those benefits that come when you finish stuff. It's not the main thing. So when you feel respected by other people, one way or another, it helps a lot if you have feelings of self-deficiency in you. It helps to start calling them out, start, you know, r- removing them. What am I communicating, ladies and gentlemen, in a, in a nutshell? I'm saying that there are very many ways, and let me just do a mighty recap here. There are very many ways in which you can fight self-deficiency. And finishing being a finisher is just one of them and we've looked at different aspects of being a finisher secondly the thing that can help you to fight self-deficiency is when you reclaim your identity you can go back to the previous episodes and you can find the answers in there thirdly the thing that helps you to fight self-deficiency is when you self-develop engage in self-help And fourthly, the thing that helps you to fight self-deficiency is when you take action. Those things help us to fight self-deficiency. And we're going to continue talking about what other things we can be able to do to fight self-deficiency in the episode tomorrow. Because I do perceive that self-deficiency is an insidious thing. It's something that happens to all of us. 
at some point in time and probably we might not be able to overcome self-deficiency one once and for all it might keep you know coming it might keep showing its ugly rearing its ugly head you know in our lives from 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 some time to time but let us continue to do this and let's continue to do this stuff so that at the end of the day we are always overcoming that feeling of self-deficiency so that we can be successful so that we can be people of significance so that we can do the things that we wanted to do so that we can fulfill the potential that is inside of us tomorrow continue until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.